this morning. Oh, let's get this up. Minnesota, we're gonna learn all about spam at the Spam Museum. Girls excited? They're very excited. <laughs> Thank you. 
morning, so we're in Forest City, Iowa, the home of Winnebago. So we're gonna be taking a Winnebago factory tour today. We stayed at their Winnebago complex, activity complex, uh, which is just right across the street from the visitor center. And we're at the visitor center today. Um, and we are gonna take the tour and see how Winnebago's are made and see where George was made. Right, yeah. All right, check you guys out later. Mini Winnie, Winnebago. It is on the E450 Ford chassis, Super Duty. Go inside. This is a bed. Oh, wow. That's, that's bed. And back here, there's a bunk and then there's another bed. Oh, the bunk is nice. Small TV. You have your closet, drawers, a big window here, big window there. This is, there's no slide out here, right? No, this is on a slide out. So this part of it is on the slide out. So that's probably inaccessible when the slide out is in. But you have two bunk beds here or you can convert it to a closet. This probably flips up and you can convert it. Can you pull that drawer, Caroline? This one? Yep. Some of them are lost. Oh, okay. Let's go in the bathroom then. Check out the bathroom. It's a nice size. I like a, a double sink. Some cabinetry here under sink. So shallower on this side. But you have drawers on that side. So it's pretty smart. Then you have your refrigerator. Then you have an oven and I believe a three burner stove and a regular microwave. And you have a ventilation here and a drawer and these probably jackknives into a bed and this also folds into a or fold down into a bed so put that in between here and then you have Storage cabinets there, and then the bunk, overhead bunk is pretty big, huh? So we're at the uh, service center at Winnebago here in Forest City, and we are able to, we were able to get in to get our uh, recall for the solar controller on our 2017-24 uh, J Navion. Uh, right after the tour, uh, one of the ladies that uh, also has a Navion that was getting the same work done. Um, suggested that we should probably do the same thing so uh, since we needed to get it done anyway what better place to uh, get it done other than uh, the heart of Winnebago right here in Forest City where uh, their major operations and their factories are so we're getting it done here so we got the teriyaki spam show, show them the label and th these are uh, popular in Hawaii we got this, this at the uh, Spam Museum. So today we toured the uh, Forest City factory where they built the Class A's and Class C's. They do have another tour that they provide once a day, uh, 15 minutes away from here, and those are the Class B's. So we are staying at the Winnebago Rally Ground uh, so here's a pro tip for you guys uh, if you are visiting uh, go stop by the visitor center they do allow you uh, to park on a specific section for a couple of days and it's free and it has electric hookups and it has sewer dumps and you have a uh, fresh water uh, fill up station uh, somewhere near the red barn behind, be, behind me so the factory is actually over there the rally grounds is pretty big. They just had the uh, uh, Winnebago rally uh, last week. So this was, I, I, if you can imagine, this was probably all full last week. But it's quite empty now, except for the two rows of um, RVers. 
So this one right here, which is section A7, or row A7, is where they allow free parking overnight. Um, and so if you are visiting the Winnebago factory or touring the Winnebago factory, or you're getting customer service work done, then you can stay at the uh, rally campground for free. Anyway, we'll check you guys out later. Uh, we're gonna be heading out to Minneapolis soon, uh, hopefully tomorrow morning. We're about a couple hours away. So we'll check you out later. So another tip, if you are interested in taking a Winnebago factory tour, go ahead and give them, give them a call first and put your name on the list uh, for the Forest City factory tour. And again, that's class A and class C's. Uh, you are able to uh, take this tour at nine o'clock a.m. or at 1 p.m. So 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. Uh, put your name on the list so that uh, they account for you. Uh, there are a limited number of seats on the bus. So, and then they take you to multiple buildings from where they cut the upholstery and fabric to uh, where they uh, put, put together the sidewalls uh, for the units. And then also you get to see the chassis. Uh, we got to see where the, uh, the new Mercedes 2020 models or 2019 models, that's the new Mercedes-Benz Sprinter chassis. Uh, they were putting the floors uh, and then they were putting the linoleum on top of it. So that, you know, we got to see that and the whole process. They're pretty quick with the process. Anyway, uh, the next uh, section is uh, putting in the cabinetry, putting in the slide-ins and whatnot. Uh, but it's a pretty informative tour. Um, and then there's also a visitor center that you can go to uh, take a look at the Winnebago history uh, at that museum. They have a couple of older units that you can walk through there. You can get some Winnebago uh, items, uh, shirts, sweatshirts, and other items. And then you can also go to the customer service center and they have parts and other RV things in there. We got some work done actually on our unit. We had a recall for the solar chargers and solar ports on our Navion. And so they, uh, we went ahead and called them up or we stopped by the customer service center and then they said they'll give us a call. An hour later, they called us and they said, come on over. So we just unhooked on our site here. We went over the customer service. They took us in. Two, three hours later, it was all done. They also had, um, uh, we needed to replace one of our brake lights on the LED. Uh, the bottom portion was already out, so they replaced that for us. We did have to pay for the part and about 15, 20 minutes of labor for that. Anyway, uh, overall, it was a great experience. It was pretty fast. Uh, and uh, they, they do have the process right over here. And if you are in the area in um, Forest City, go stop by Lixen. RVs uh, and it's about probably less than five minutes away uh, it's just two minutes away down the street um, and you can check out the new RVs out there uh, they did not have the new Sprinter uh, chassis uh, Navions and views um, for us to look at at the, um, the visitor center they did have some towables and some other class C's and a couple of class A's but no Navions or views uh, with a 2020 uh, or new cha uh, Sprinter chassis. So that was uh, kind of a disappointment. Mao didn't want to see that. She wanted to go to Lexington instead. And I said, I don't want to hook up again. But anyway, we'll probably get to check it out some other time. So we'll check you guys out later. Mm -hmm.